Hello, everybody. Um, so this is an informational video on uh, the write-up for the refraction um, of physics lab. Uh, this is for 13 point, no, 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 sorry, 12.3C, uh, OK? So let's see. So uh, in this, um, in this, um, in the second slide, uh, do some research, explain the index of refraction and why the color pencils appear broken. Um, you can you can totally write your uh, explanation in this box. Um, that's pretty pretty straightforward, I think. Um, this third slide uh, kind of gives you a little bit of uh, theory um, that you can use to answer uh, the question in number two. Okay. Uh, this video in uh, slide number four um, explains to you um, how um, or why uh, we use uh, Snell's law, or how is it that we that we can use uh, Snell's law. And we are gonna we are gonna be using uh, the index of refraction. Uh, the index of refraction pretty much tells you um, how. Um, a certain material uh, bends light. Um, so if you have a, uh, say, a ray of light or a laser or just plain and simple light, um, you have this incident ray. Um, say, for example, that this is happening in, uh, in air. And all of a sudden, it comes into contact with glass or, um, or water or... Um, any other type of material that you can think of um, that that can um, that light passes through, it is going to bend the light. It is going to bend. Uh, it is going to slow down um, the speed at um, uh, the speed of this wavelength. Okay. Um, and so, and so we're we're interested. We're interested in how, and by by how much uh, this um, by how much does um, does this um, does this material bend bend the light? Because it is a characteristic, uh, a unique characteristic of every material. Okay. And so this this video kind of uh, explains to you a little bit more on that. Um, now. This is this is what we need to calculate. We need to calculate the index of refraction of this uh, prism, this uh, five-sided or actually four-sided, uh, four-sided prism right here. Um, and and we have our incident light. Uh, we have our incident ray of light. Maybe it's a uh, perhaps it could be a a laser uh, being pointed at this uh, at this crystal. Okay. And it is um, it is point, pointed towards it um, at a 40 degree angle. Um, so the normal line um, is 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 perpendicular to the surface. Okay, and so this light is coming in at 40 degrees at a 40 degree angle. And this ray of light is being bent at uh, 26 degrees over the normal line okay so that refracted ray is being um uh is being bent at 26 degrees okay well and and so now this is this is Snell's law okay this is Snell's law and so we're trying to find so um here in the outside the outside is the uh is air there's air and so the index of refraction for air is n1 which equals uh, 1.000 three and so we're trying to find n2 we're trying to find how by how much is this um is this prism is this crystal uh bending the light okay and so that's what we're gonna find out okay and so we see that uh snell's law uh snell's law is um n1 and one times uh, times the sine um, of the incident angle. So uh, at 
I, okay, the angle of incidence, all right, um, equals um, N2 times uh, the sine of the refracted angle. So um, at uh, R, okay? And so um, in, in our previous, um, in our previous uh, slide, they say N1 sine of theta of one equals N2 uh, times the sine of theta of two, okay? And we just made it a little bit uh, simplified. Okay, so now um, we have that in problem number one. Problem number one, we have that N1 and one is equal to um, 1.0003, okay? So we have that N1, our index of refraction for air is 1.0003. Um, we have that um, the angle of incidence is 40 degrees. Okay, and we also have that, we don't have N2, they don't give us N2, all right, they, they do not give us N2, um, but we have that, uh, we have that, um, that the angle of, of refraction, so at R, equals uh, 26 degrees. And I'm getting all of this information from the problem, everybody. I'm getting this 40, uh, the incidence, the incident, uh, the angle of incidence, and one equals 1.0003. And then um, uh, the angle, the angle, of, the refracted angle is 26 degrees. That's where I'm getting all this information from. And so now what we need to do um, is that we need to plug in all these numbers into our equation, okay? So we have that, um, and one is is 1.003 uh, times the sine of 40, right? Because that's at at um, at i, okay. Uh, and then equals uh, n2 because we don't know n2, so we're we're trying to find n2 uh, times the sine of 26 like that okay well um how do we how do we solve this well we have to uh, do a little bit of algebra okay we have to do a little bit of algebra and and so we need to um, what we can do first is um let me see no highlight clicks no what we can do first is um, multiply this out, okay? And and so we're gonna do that. We're gonna go to our trusty calculator, uh, our Google calculator. And um, please make sure that you uh, highlight uh, degrees. Please make sure that you highlight degrees, okay? That you uh, press on degrees so that it's uh, so that it's it's not gray. It's um, dark gray, I guess, okay? And so we're gonna say, um, let's see, what is our, so it's uh, 1.003 times sine of 40. So 1.0003 uh, times uh, the sine of 40. And that is gonna equal uh, 0 0.643, okay? All right, so let's see. So all of this is equal to 0 0.643 equals N2 times the sine of 26. Okay, so there you go. I, all I did was uh, multiply this out in my calculator like this, okay? And, um, and so now, uh, what I gotta do is I, I gotta do some, uh, again, some algebra. 
um, because this n2 is being multiplied by the sine of 26. Uh, if I have a multiplication, then I need to divide. Okay, so I divide both sides of the equation. By sine of 26, okay? So I divide both sides of the equation by uh, sine of 26. Okay. So here and here. And so when I do that, and when I do that, these signs uh, get crossed out, right? Um, if I could, uh, let me see, I, I think I, I was struggling um, a little bit earlier to do a scribble, but uh, I think I can, I think that's, that's okay, I guess. Uh, let me see if I can make it a little bit, um, a little bit, nope. Undo that. <laughs> uh, okay, well, whatever. It's fine. Yeah, um, so this this gets crossed out. Okay. That gets crossed out. Uh, so let me see. Okay, there you go. So that gets crossed out. There you go. Okay, like that. Okay, so that gets crossed out, and so now I have. Um, so now, uh, so now I have um, n two. N two is equal to. Is equal to. Um, zero. 0.643 divided by the sine of 26 divided by the sine of 26 and 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 that is that is how I get n2 now how do I do that in my calculator well I put um, uh, 0 0.643 is that, is that right? 643, yep, 643, uh, divided by the sine of 26. And I'm going to get my result, all right? I'm not going to show you what I get because I'm, I'm going to get my result, OK? Um, and, and that is your answer for the first problem. That is your answer for the first problem. Um, and so now you got to do the same for the second problem. And your answer, your answer is going gonna, is gonna to be similar to one of these numbers. If it is not similar to one of these numbers, then you're doing something wrong, everybody. Um, and you, and so for the, for the last, um, for the last slide, um, you know, you got to identify the material of the prism. Okay. Um, so your answer is going to be similar to one of these numbers right here. Uh, let me or it's going to be similar to one of these numbers right here. So if you don't get if you don't get something similar to one of these numbers right here on on both of these uh, on this problem and also on this problem, then again you're doing something wrong. Okay. All right, everybody. Well, uh, happy work. <laughs>